Kim Gidley went on the road. Utah last week, going to go on the road again. Seems like you're on the road again all the time. But uh, last week split, get the win against Boise and the loss of Utah State. Your impressions? You know, Utah State, it was their first home match of the whole spring, so they were super pumped to play, excited. They came out on fire in the doubles. We won it one doubles quickly, and two and three, we just could not convert on the three all points, and we were right there uh, to clinch the doubles point. The team came out strong in the singles. We won five of first sets in the singles, um, and when it came to time to convert, we just couldn't do it. Um, it ended up probably being with the match score tied three all. Um, we had number two singles, uh, was down 5 40 love. And in four different games, we saved seven match points to bring it back to five all, um, especially with the match on the line. So it was certainly epic. Uh, we ended up not converting, but I think just that, that confidence and that fight of, hey, this is what it's going to take to beat an Air Force team. Uh, it doesn't matter what the score is <laughs> when they're down and out. Um, and it's going to take eight match points to beat us. Uh, Definitely, but Sydney Fitch, it was epic. Um, so I think everybody having that confidence that, hey, we're going to fight no matter what. Um, and then obviously the next day we played Boise State, who is, you know, in the middle of the pack in the conference. We'd lost them last year 4 0. Um, came out, same thing, lost a doubles point in a really tight, tight match. Again, had a lot, lot of opportunities at two and three to convert for the point, didn't. Um, but they just really kind of came out in the singles and. You know, everybody did their job, and so obviously to have that clincher. But then again, the next day, Sydney Fitch in that same situation, but this time on a three-all point, you know, match point. She has a second serve ace. Uh, Vivian Glosman was down set points, and she came back and won in straight sets. Uh, we had Haley Stells clinch the match, and she had, you know, won in three sets, and she's serving underhanded the whole time because of a shoulder injury. So to be able to kind of do those things and find a way to compete and be resilient when they were down and out was, was pretty awesome. And I was super excited for them that, hey, we can do it. And then obviously Karina Chow, she wins 6 0 6 yeah. <laughs> gets that first win right off the bat. And she's already won 30 singles matches this season, you know, has already been multiple freshmen of the week, you yeah. know, with the Mountain West. So really great team effort. And that was kind of the, the difference between Utah State and, and Boise. If we have everybody contribute one match, we're always going to have that that 4-3 win or, or a 4-2 win. Um, what is it with your team, though? I mean, every year you lose players and you think there's no way this team can be as good as they were. And here you are again. You know, if you get another win, it's the best season in the Mountain West. Yeah, it's <laughs> – you know, I, I think it's an expectation of we just want to get better and see what we can do. And it's neat that each team can make their own history. Sure. For sure. This week, you go to Albuquerque. Let me get this correct. You go to Albuquerque, play San Jose State and Fresno State. Uh, your impression first against the Spartans. You know, uh, I have to tell you, it doesn't matter where you're at in the conference. If we don't show up, <laughs> we're not going to win. So we've got to show up. Everybody, everybody is capable enough. If we show up on the same day, um, I think we're really good. Uh, we are already down there. We like the six courts in a row, the timing of how to do that, being outdoors. We're going to be outside. It's going to be like 78 and maybe even 80 and 83. So it's going to be hot both days. But, you know, getting to – it's a little bit lower for us, but it's higher for them. Uh, you know, San Jose and Fresno are not out their sea level school. So, um, you know, that's gonna, if we can use that to our advantage and to fitness and, and wanting to be there, that obviously will play in our favor. Is there a hunger to take on this Fresno State juggernaut 7-0? and yeah. I, I think if they come out and just play match by match, knowing that they're capable, which is kind of what we did against Boise State of just knowing that, you know, Hey, we're good enough at one. We're good enough at two. We're good enough at, you know, all the way down the lineup through six. And they know that they're good enough and they can play with anybody. Then it's a match that can, that, you know, if we show up, it can go our way. So yeah. perfect. Kim Gidley, thanks for the time. Good luck this weekend in Albuquerque. Go blue.